Greensboro is the southernmost town in Orleans County, Vermont, United States. The population was 762 at the 2010 census. The town includes the places of Campbell's Corners, East Greensboro, Gebby Corner, Greensboro Four Corners, Greensboro Bend, Tolman's Corner, and Burlington Point. History Greensboro was chartered in 1781. The town was named for Timothy Green, one of the original charter recipients and an original landowner under the charter. However, there is no evidence that he ever visited the town, and his land was sold for non-payment of taxes a few decades after he received it. 13 to 14 only three of the original proprietors settled in the town, most likely, the others were land speculators who sold their land to others or let it be sold at tax sales when buyers could not be found. 18 The Bailey Hazen Military Road, built before the town was chartered, allowed its development. The road passed to the west of Caspian Lake, and a wooden blockhouse was constructed there in 1779–21–22 on what is now known as Blockhouse Hill, frontispiece. In 1781, the blockhouse's party of four was attacked by Abenaki, two were killed and two were captured. 22–23 A second road was built by Timothy Hinman between 1791 and 1793. This road, which came to be known as the Hinman Settler Road, branched off from the Bailey Hazen in Greensboro and continued to Derby. These two roads were of major importance to the settlement of northern Vermont. 23 The town sent many soldiers to fight in the Civil War. Of eight prisoners of war from the town, confined to Andersonville Prison, one returned. In the early 20th century, a development near the Highland Lodge contained restrictive covenants in the title forbidding subsequent resale to Jews. These restrictions were found to be illegal by the U.S. Supreme Court in 1948. The Highland Lodge opened in 1954. It had a hotel and restaurant that was open year round. It had a beach on Caspian Lake with sailboats, kayaks, and canoes, children's play programs and nature programs in the summer and nature hikes and cross-country ski trails in the winter. Special events included wedding, business retreats, music programs, workshops, and talks. It was largely closed in 2011, being open only for room and cottage rentals, but a group of investors purchased the property in December, 2016 and have reopened the lodge and restaurant year-round. Topic. Geography According to the United States Census Bureau, the town has a total area of 39.4 square miles 102.0 square kilometers, of which 37.8 square miles 97.8 square kilometers is land and 1.6 square miles 4.2 square kilometers 4.11% is water. The town includes Caspian Lake and most of Eligo Pond, also known as Lake Eligo. Demographics As of the census of 2000, there were 770 people, 313 households, and 215 families residing in the town. The population density was 20.4 people per square mile, 7.9 per square kilometers. There were 773 housing units at an average density of 20.5 per square miles, 7.9 per square kilometers. The racial makeup of the town was 96.36% white, 0.13% African American, 0.78% Native American, and 2.73% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 0.65% of the population. There were 313 households out of which 28.4% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 57.2% were married couples living together, 8.3% had a female householder with no husband present, and 31.3% were non-families. 27.2% of all households were made up of individuals and 16.0% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.37 and the average family size was 2.84. 
In the town, the population was spread out with 21.9% under the age of 18, 5.6% from 18 to 24, 23.1% from 25 to 44, 28.8% from 45 to 64, and 20.5% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 44 years. For every 100 females, there were 85.5 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 78.9 males. Government Town Moderator, Timothy Nisbet Chair, Select Board, Susan Wood Town Clerk, Kim Greaves ASST. Town Clerk, Kim Greaves, Jean Eisner Treasurer, Barbara Brook Auditor, Patricia Mercier Auditor, Marsha Gaduri Lister, Kim Greaves Lister, Kristen Lay Lister, Harold Tolman Trustee of Public Funds, Cheryl Lumsden Library Trustee, Debbie Casper Agent, David Smith Grand Juror, David Smith Water Board, Keith Myers, John Macken, Craig Desel <laughs> School District Member, District School Board, Wayne Young Treasurer, Lorraine Tolman Member Lakeview Elementary School Board, Patricia Launa Member, Lakeview Elementary School Board, Matteo Kaler Member, Hazen School Board, Ed Karp Economy Personal income The median income for a household in the town was $34,583, and the median income for a family was $40,917. Males had a median income of $31,250 versus $20,917 for females. The per capita income for the town was $19,396. About 3.7% of families and 6.9% of the population were below the poverty line, including 11.3% of those under age 18 and 5.4% of those age 65 or over. Greensboro has the highest per capita income in Orleans County for a town. Newport City is higher. Greensboro's income ranks at 129th out of 282 census areas in Vermont. Topic. Industry Circus Smirkus, a non-profit youth circus, is based here. The company was founded in Greensboro by Rob Merman in 1987. The Greensboro Arts Alliance and Residency GAAR, the summer wing of the Mirror Theatre Limited, was formed here in 2005 to mix professional Mirror Repertory Company members with local community members. In 2016, GAAR performed the American premiere of Joshua Sobol's Sinners, directed by Brian Cox, in Greensboro. Hill Farmstead Brewery is a local craft brewery that was named by Rate Beer in 2015 as the best brewery in the world, best brewery in the United States, and top brewery in Vermont. It was previously voted the best brewery in the world in 2012 and 2014 as well. Jasper Hill Farm was awarded Best Unpasteurized Cheese for its Bailey Hazen Blue at the 2014 World Cheese Awards in London. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Tourism. The Caspian Lake is surrounded by cottages, many available for summer rental. The lake is used for boating, sailing and fishing. There is a public beach at the south end, in town, with a boat ramp. There are two inns in town, Highland Lodge, which rents rooms and cottages, and Lakeview Inn, which holds group events. Ice fishing is popular. 
Greensboro has a nine-hole golf course, Mountain View, since circa 1895, with views of the lake and Mount Mansfield. Topic: <laughs> Community. The Greensboro Association was founded in 1934 to conceive, advance, and support village initiatives and organizations. Greensboro was the setting of a short film called The Arbel's House is Green directed by part-time resident Duncan M. Rogers. The hub of town is a general store called Willie's. The Green Mountain Monastery, a community of women, was formed here in 1999. <laughs> Notable people Alfred Barr, art historian and the first director of the Museum of Modern Art. He is buried in the town cemetery under a tombstone designed by architect Philip Johnson. Greta Garbo visited friends in the town in her later years. Robert Gilpin, professor emeritus at Princeton University Warner A. Graham, associate justice of the Vermont Supreme Court Andrew Johnson, cross-country skier Bliss Perry, scholar and editor Benjamin H. Randall, politician and businessman William Hubbs Rehnquist, Chief Justice of the United States Wallace Stegner, Pulitzer Prize-winning author <laughs>